Hello, beloveds. My name is Evan Wildheart, and welcome to the Cycle Report for the 7th of April 2020. I sit here on Jojo Woodaran Country in Central Highlands, Victoria, Australia, in the Southern Hemisphere. So we are almost between autumn equinox, which was on the 21st of March, to Halloween or Soen, which falls on um, traditionally the 30th of April, but you know astrologically it's around about the 5th of May. So that's the exact point between autumn equinox and winter solstice, the shortest daylight hours of the whole year. So we are well and truly into the descent. So we've just passed second harvest, which was autumn equinox, and we're moving into our third. So whatever's happening right now is the result of what was happening around, you know, July, August, September, October last year. So have a think, what was happening, you know, what seeds were you planting, what experiences were you doing, you know, experiencing, what thoughts were you thinking back then. Here's the result. This is the harvest, you know, moving into deep harvest. And this time of the year, so autumn, is traditionally associated, not always, but traditionally associated with the element of water. Now, water is connected to our emotional bodies. So when we develop a relationship with water and we keep our waters clean, we develop a relationship with our emotional bodies. We are 96% water, around about that. So we have a strong element of water within our own very own bodies. So when we develop a relationship with it, we're really connecting into ourselves. So, you know... Water, water is a great shape shifter. It goes from, you know, from water to ice to snow to mist to giant rivers, fast flowing rivers to deepest oceans to little trickles on the mountain, you know, the start of the, you know, the big rivers, you know. So it has this power force behind it that it can shape shift to anything and it has a cycle so we are so fortunate here in our western culture that we have water coming out from our taps so you know we just have to turn on the tap to have a shower or even use the toilet here you know or brush our teeth or wash our dishes and we are connecting with element of water and we know what happens when water becomes stagnant you know it becomes toxic you know no life lives in stagnant water and that connects back to ourselves too. If we are not flowing with our emotional bodies, if we're not allowing the full expression of who we are and our emotions to come through and come forth and go in those cycles, we are also building up toxicity in our own bodies. And that's when we become sick. So, you know, if you think, you know, what's above is below with, is within it was out, you know, um, it's no surprise that we have this global pandemic of illness flooding around us right now because you know think of our oceans you know think of how we treat our waterways you know those pictures that you see you know in a lot of places of just the whole you know rivers of inner city rivers just full with rubbish and so you know our emotional bodies the earth emotional body is clogged up with toxic waste and of course so we get sick that that's that's the thing um so, you know, it's important to develop a relationship with water and to love our water and to cherish it and honour it. You know, and that could be as simple as, you know, when you're having a shower in the morning, just thinking about where the water's come from. You know, it's come from an ocean or a river and it's risen up, you know, into the sky as mist and it's gathered in the clouds in the cosmic realm and it's come down to our earth, you know, and either landed on your grass or, you know, landed in the rivers and it's flooded down to a river or into the reservoirs, you know, in through the pipes and into our houses. You know, to really think about that and give thanks to having clean water. This time is also associated with the time of Marga. So the life, so if you look on the wheel of the um, life wheel, you have maiden is associated with spring and mother is associated with summer or father. And then you have Marga. So Marga starts at menopause, you know, so and that usually is represented around, you know, Lamas, which is the start of February. So the first harvest is Lamas. The thing is about the Marga is that when you go through menopause, the veils of accommodation have lifted. So when women start bleeding, you know, the hormones in our bodies, you know, help us to um, 
become the nurturing hormone so we can nurture and accommodate our children to make sure that they grow and and flourish as we know they need to be but when we hit menopause and when we become magas you know the veil of accommodation is lifted and so the full torrent of you know our emotions is expressed no fucks given and so you know that's the healthy version of a maga and so she can speak her mind and she thinks about the community so that is stepping in and that's like you know the water you know when we honor the water within our bodies and the full emotional body we can step into that so that's a part of you know becoming a healthy um, elder is to honor the water and to honor the land and our emotional bodies that associate it with it so you know this time of year that's that's where we're at you know to and to really think about you know how we you know look after our water i guess that's what i'm saying this time too we are right now in the full moon energy so full moon here uh, in the southern hemisphere in australia um, actual fact is about nine i mean 12 35 p.m tomorrow afternoon so we are fully into that full moon energy now's a really good time to do your full moon prayers you know what is it that you want to bring into full illumination you know and if you ever think about two weeks ago when the new moon came in you know what was happening then what prayers were you saying what were your new moon prayers you know what you know what were you thinking you know and then sit down and have a think and look around you the whole picture of what is being fully illuminated to highlight that remember your prayers what shows up is what gets in the way of them coming fruition so it, what is being shown to you right now what is being fully illuminated and what seeds do you want to bring up the one seed that you want to bring into fullness you know that's your prayer so full moon love to you all and um I am on day five in my personal menstrual cycle, which means that I'm in the seeding stage of my body cycle. So I invite you to tune in to you know where you're at in your menstrual cycle. And if you're a man or a non-bleeding woman, you know, a pregnancy or a child or, you know, um, maga or crone, you know, what is it, the full illumination? So you're with the moon cycle. So, so I invite you to really drop into that and have a think about how your body is relating to and how the overlays with the full moon and this time of year of um you know that deepening harvest and descent oh, so that is it for me um so just a couple of things i'm about to launch my website which is so friggin exciting so um, watch for that um, if you want to get updates on my events and offerings sign up to um, my new moon newsletter which will be coming out in two weeks um, which are the links below and um, there's a couple of things that are coming up so tomorrow night wednesday the 8th um, Eastern Australian time at eight o'clock um, there will be several beautiful amazing mamas and I will be discussing um, the sacred art of mothering which is for free and I've got two workshops coming up starting one starting at the end of April which is death of the maiden rites of passage into motherhood and one towards the end of may which is all about mapping your descent so mapping your underworld journey the call of the dark goddess so if you if you resonate with anything please leave comments i'd love i love hearing from you all thank you narelle you're always up there on the youtube um, channel um so much love from my heart to your beautiful, beautiful hearts. May your full moon be fully illuminated and with joy and love. So much love. I hope you're all well and that your isolation is, you know, just rich and timing of rest and bringing and thinking of the prayers that we want to bring into the new paradigm that is unfolding right now. Okay, so much love. Thank you for listening. Bye.